Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Lovestruck. Juliet is just apparently gonna go talk to someone. Why is Daniel here? Danielle. She's pregnant, okay. Apparently we're friends with her, that's fine. Wave and grind? Oh yeah, I added some more mods, I forgot about that. But yeah, say hi to baby. I would love to say hi to baby. Oh yeah, quickly, quickly before we get into the episode, I actually went out my way and decided to finally make the ex-boyfriend that was toxic towards us and that we are no longer with. So this is Jack Holbrook. This is her ex-boyfriend and yeah so as you can see it's very complicated aren't in love hate just two sides of the same coin they have awful compatibility they broke up it's neutral we don't know about the attraction level uh we were deeply connected but now we're uh we're bitter about the breakup and jack is furious but yeah he's a very very toxic individual and we just have a really negative um mood lit with him i'm gonna change the friendship real quick just for story purposes so i'm gonna make it negative 50 see how that goes okay so there you go that's a bit more accurate they are not even in contact not friends like he's i'm pretty sure he's on the block list and all that stuff so yeah we have nothing to do with jack anymore he's toxic and yeah but doesn't mean to say that he won't try and sliver his way back into our lives again so we will obviously keep an eye out for that this is a cute interaction by the way so cute oh okay that's enough that's enough okay okay that's enough so apparently we're really good friends with her which is cool and everything so i'm not sure what we're gonna be doing with our day i guess we could do some work i guess and then we'll probably think about going out on another date because she you know she probably is a bit desperate for love she's living in this big house all by herself of course she wants to find someone why it's a lag freelancer Wait, what do we even have to do? Edit documents, write feedback report. Okay, edit documents. Why are you sleeping? Also, what's wrong with our doggy? Okay, ask him to go potty first or ask her to go potty first, sorry. Ask Bella go potty. Go to go to the bathroom. Danielle is just like, you know, helping us out, whatever. Or no, she's not. She's uh, just chilling. All right, so I'm going to let her do her work and... All that good stuff. Obviously, it's getting late. We won't have time to do much at the moment because obviously I started the game like late into the day. So, yeah, we'll probably have to go to bed eventually. But we're just going to do some late night work. And yeah, when did you sell drugs? What the hell? I got to remove that. That's a bit of a weird one. All right, I'm going to let her do some work, guys, and then I'm going to go ahead and let you know when she is done. Also, apparently she still has the breakup blues. But yeah, I'll let you know when she's done. Okay, so it's the next day, and she did finish that report in time, which is good. And now we're just going to head downstairs, do what we need to do for our daily routine. And then, yeah, we're just going to start working again, I think. And I think we might do a little bit of browsing on Cupid's Corner app just to see what's new. So let's do that now quickly. So we obviously went on a date with her. All right, let's see. Eh, not a whole lot of options by the looks of it. Wait, did we change it? Women and men. Okay, so why is it now that we're only getting women? Okay, so she's a perfectionist, which is a turn off for Juliet. But she's creative, which is a turn on. So I'm going to go ahead and add her to the saved list. Oh my god, Kyle's on here. He's lazy, but a genius. I mean, we could give him a go. <laughs> I find that funny, actually. And then there's Liberty. Okay, we're going to remove her because she's basically turned into our best friend now. Uh, 
daddy. I had no idea that she was, uh, that she was going to be, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Misty. Yeah, we could go on a date with her. Rhonda. Mm, possibly. Becca. Yeah, we've got a lot of choices here. A lot, lot of good looking people here. Well, minus him. Maybe we'll delete him. We've got a lot of choices here. I think we should go on a date with... Let's see how we do with Becca. We'll see how we do with Becca. She, she gets all lovey-dovey every time she goes on that app, right? Do some laundry. And then we'll say probably like later into the day, like maybe 5 or 6 p.m. That's when we'll go out on the date. And yeah, we'll just go from there. How's Bella doing? Oh, Bella's sleeping. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Bella's still sleeping. So I guess we'll... Do a bit more work. Chap a client, write marketing copy, get mar a marketing copy approved. Okay, we can do that. Uh, let's grab some breakfast first. So let's just have some eggs and toast. And then we're going to fill this bowl for Bella and call her over. Hopefully she doesn't burn the house down. Okay, she is cooking level two, so she should be good. Oh. Hi Bella. Don't worry, I'm doing your bowl afterwards. Let's uh also clean the floor. I just realized that's there. Okay, so food. You're gonna hurry up and give your dog some food? There you go. Oh look, she's howling. Come on. Give her some food. And then after that we can do some work. Chat with a client. Then write marketing copy. Her dream ultimately is to be a journalist. So I think we might actually get her into like writing books and stuff. So maybe after this, we're going to get her to write a book. We'll do like a short story, but it will. Yeah. But I'm hoping that we can like write romantic books eventually. Like the higher our writing skill goes. I guess we probably could if we were in a romantic mood. I don't think we are. Okay, so I'll let her finish that up. And now she's going to write the marketing copy. And then we're going to get it approved. What's this? Write a book. We'll hold off on that. We'll get it approved first, so then we'll think about doing all that. It's a very cloudy day today. It's not much she can do, really. She still go out on a date later on. I just think it's a bit too early, maybe, for a date. Huh. I'm going to put her picture right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's reached writing level four, and we can now write poems. She also write love emails to other sims. Oh, that's cool. I'd love to do that. We should do that, actually. How can you do that? Write love email. Let's write a love email to Becca. Water shut off day is now in effect in accordance with the water conservation. NAP, all water. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, we're getting a daily fine apparently for using too much water. Oh, look at Bella just sitting there watching us work. That's so cute. Give it a title so the client knows what to call it. I've completely forgotten uh, what we were writing marketing copy marketing so i don't know what to call it <laughs> i don't know i'm just gonna put out a title because i don't know what to call it I, f I literally forgot marketing copy okay well we'll see how it does i guess i'll probably love it <laughs> approved <laughs> that's what i thought well, we wrote a marketing copy. Oh, we have to do two more. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I should probably do that. Right, write another marketing copy. Or we'll make it... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Brand language. Okay. So let's add, like, the brand is a clothing brand. And then we'll just come up with something to like draw customers in i don't know this is all she does she literally just you know for now it's just her working you know things like that it's a little lonely at the moment in this big old house but we hope soon to eventually have a partner 
you know, we can hang out with. Do we have any friends that we could possibly just invite over just to hang out with us, give us some company? I'm going to remove Marcus from our friends because he's literally a ghost. I mean, Danielle seems like a really good friend. I'm not going to lie. Can we invite her over? No, we can't invite her over. Where is she? Oh, she's at the door. What the heck? Okay, uh, invite in if we can. Flirt with Becca. What the heck? Oh, she walking. Okay, never mind. She's leaving. Level five with the writing skill. Uh, she can now write nonfiction. She also can sell to publisher and recite love poetry with other sims. That's awesome. But yeah, we'll get her to write her own book. I just want to give it time. Oh, I think Bella wants to go out again. I don't think she's fully learned how to use the potty. Right, hurry this up. <laughs> I'll just put knee close. We got him. I don't know. I'm really like, I don't know what to put. <laughs> I really don't. I don't. Yeah. I'm going to tell her to go outside for a potty. It would be nice if dogs begged at the back door rather than the front door. Okay, that one got approved. Now we have one more. We'll say this is for a, I don't know, a restaurant. We will try and do this. Maybe our next date will be at home so we can use the blanket. Or we could take the blanket with us and go to the park. That's not a bad idea. I think that might be a good idea, actually. Oh, <gasps> Jack is calling us. Hey, yeah, it's been a while, but listen, I can't stop thinking about you. I need you in my life. Anyways, do you want to get back together with me? What? What the heck? Uh, what the f- I can't believe he just asked to get back together with us. Yeah, I, I don't- we're gonna- be like, ah, let me think on it. Take all the time you need. I'm here for you. I can't friggin' believe that. What the heck? We've even got a little bit of friendship with that. Even though we're awful compatibility. What the heck? He's so toxic and he just comes out of nowhere and like asks to get back together with us, even though he's like, maybe he like made a new account and stuff and like was able to like bypass the block. That's crazy. Oh my God. I'm loving the drama. I really, really am. I'm here for it. All right, hurry up and write this. Yes, I know, I know. It's almost time for us to go out on another date. We're just gonna go out on another date. We're gonna forget about Jack. We're not even gonna think about Jack. We'll just say, need food. We got it. <laughs> I don't know what to put, I'm sorry. Okay, just pop the shit. It's probably going to be like, yeah, there you go. Okay, we're making decent money. Did we do everything that we need to? Yeah, we did everything. All right, a clean lint tray and then dry those clothes for me. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and head out and go on a date, despite it raining. I'm going to go, go go grab the uh, the picnic. Right, so we're obviously going to call up Becca and be like, hey, I saw your profile. Would you consider going on a date with me, maybe? Or just a get to know you date sort of thing? Oh, yeah, let's just uh, ask her on that uh, date. Sounds nice on the phone. This is the longest chat ever. Cool. Cool. Right, so we'll get on a we'll go on a get to know you day. Uh we're gonna be romantic, friendly, funny, uh physical intimacy, star cloud gay since we have the thing. Yeah, they could take a picture or two. I think that'd be cute. Nah, we'll skip board games, not really a fan of it. Right. There you go. The park. Let's go to the park. Okay, there's a naked man there. Great! I'm going to see if there's any other parks that we could possibly place down. See if anyone's made a new one. Okay, I've placed down a new park that we can try out. And let's see how this date goes. Oh, I like this. All right. I wish there wasn't any lag. All right, so let's sit down over here with Becca and get this date started and just get to know her a bit. Oh, why is Danielle? 
Hi Julia, I just wanted to let you know that Lavina and I are now dating. I'm head over heels for her. Oh, that's great. Okay, we are a hundred percent gonna become her best friend, I feel like. Alright, let's uh, get to know Becca then. So, no, that's not something we want to get into. Is to have a deep conversation. Yes. Small talk, small talk. We'll ask you for your pronouns. She's a bookworm. Okay, cool. We'll ask about your day. Uh, ask about your career. Why not? Oh, tell a joke. Okay, we can tell a joke. It's a not not joke. How about that? Something, something kind of not too intense. And then we will brighten day. So they're good friends now. Talk about photos, I guess. We'll talk about the rain, I guess. I guess the picnic thing is going to be, you know, not happening since it's raining. Things about comedy. You could do a little bit of light physical intimacy. I'm going to do something light and just hold her hands, maybe. We're going to ask about her romantic interests and discuss dating standards. We'll see how that goes, I guess. We'll do tenderly embrace as well. Is this boy trying to figure stuff out right now? Okay, so she's a little bi-curious. Despite Juliet's attempt to explain her approach to love, it seems Becca has not fully grasped her perspective. Both Sims are left feeling uncertain about a romantic path forward. Oh no. We'll keep going. Where are you going? Interest. Ask about degree. She has a degree? Oh yeah, she went to university, didn't she? Um, discuss interest again. Star or sky gaze? Uh, okay, we can't do it here or here. Oh, there's a blanket already here. Oh, I like that. Right, let's go do that then. Despite it raining, we're just gonna do it, okay? We're crazy. I really like this park. Just like, but it's raining. <laughs> That's so cute. They are kind of cute together, not gonna lie. It's like, that star reminds me of you. <laughs> Juliet, I've got an extra ticket to the hottest opera in town, but we've got to go right now. Are you in? No. <laughs> I'm busy. Okay, what else? Snuggle, let's snuggle with her. Taking things extra slow. Oh, there's like a cute little like shop here or it feels like a shop. Oh, there's a bar here and everything. I love this lot. And then we've got the uh, Day of the Dead stuff here. I love that. Oh, there's other people stargazing as well, even though it's raining. So we're not the only ones. Okay, I think we should whisper sweet nothings. First kiss as well. I don't know what's going on, but they're kind of broken a little bit. <laughs> oh, they're having their first kiss on the blanket. Oh my god! Wait! Oh my god, she's ruining it. That's so cute. I guess we could take a photo together. Take a photo with... Oh yeah, I forgot that was one of our things. To have romantic interactions on the blanket. I'm just going to take a selfie with her just because it's a part of the thing because if all goes well then this could be a really cute memory we do some cute you know romantic ones i was never a fan of that post i love this one though there you go took a photo okay you need to go to the bathroom so go to the bathroom go on where is it oh okay she's already gone i guess she's peeing in the bush god's sake oh she's hungry okay uh pfft. Can we hire some staff, please? I'm actually sick of this rain. We're going to ask her if she's single as well. Let's get into the relationship side. We're going to ask about her romantic boundaries as well. Oh, let's ask to chain extend the date as well. Ask to extend the date. Okay, non-physical romance will trigger jealousy. Ro uh, physical romance will trigger jealousy. Woohoo will trigger jealousy. But she's also opened into reconsidering. <gasps> 
Becca is sort of falling for Juliet, wants to ask her if she would like to... She wants... Wait, what? Ask her if she would like a relationship. Do you want this to happen? Now, she is a love bug, but at the same time, the last time she was in a relationship, it didn't go so well. But I'm going to say probably yes, just because she's, like, lonely, maybe? Okay. Yeah, we're going to say yes. So they're officially a couple. They're officially no longer single. Which is awesome. So they're romantic partners now. Let's talk about the photos as well. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, this is so romantic. She's moving rather quickly, but we'll see how it goes. Um, she's a love bug, so she wears her heart on her sleeve. But I feel like she would kind of say yes, because I think after that text from Jack, she's kind of like, okay, I need to show him that I'm over him. I guess that's her mindset. Right, so more small talk. Be affectionate. We could be affectionate. Express regards. They are loving each other right now. Seems to be a romance. I forgot about this. Cry on Becca. What is that? I want to see that. Declare love publicly. Oh, damn. The steamy kiss, too. Oh, this is so cute. Tell a story. Juliet has had some really successful romantic interaction lately. Is it possible Juliet has unlocked her romantically reserved heart? So she went from romantically reserved to romantic. I don't think she's fully there yet. She isn't fully there yet. She uh, needs a little bit more time. Because we don't know if this is going to work out. Alright, do a conversation. Tell a story. I think we should also change the venue so we can get out of this rain. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Ask to change venue. We'll just go back to our place. Or my, or her place. For God's sake. Alright, we're here. Let's get indoors. Let's nap together. That'd be so cute. Yeah, just get get indoors, get indoors. You guys gonna does that even work? Oh that's so cute. That's from the um that's from the birthing mod, the realistic birth mod. I love these two. Oh, she's hungry. Maybe they should order a pizza. That'd be fun. Home business. Order a delivery. Let's do pizza delivery. We'll just get a pepperoni pizza. All right, let's, let's stop with the uh, napping, guys. We're ordering pizza. I wonder if I can invite her to stay the night. I've been thinking about this a lot. I wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. <laughs> oh, wow. Um. Oh, gosh. I think she's going to do it. And here's why. Because I think she really, really wants to kind of push Jack out of her mind and all the shit that he did to her and stuff like that. So I think she is just mentally, she is not doing okay. So she is just like, I, you know, oh yeah, I'm over him and, you know, like if I if I have her move in with me and like she makes me feel really good, then like I'll be over him and like all this other stuff. So we'll see how this goes. And I think she's just gonna, you know, I don't know where to say yes, but I feel like maybe later she might regret it because she's not the type to kind of move this quickly. But because of everything that's happened to her with her ex and everything, she's just not fully thinking. If that makes sense. So we're gonna say yeah. We're gonna say yeah. Go ahead. Move in with us. We're only going to take two grand. Okay. And Becca is now living with us. So, yeah. 
New ro romance, dynamic, wholesome. How tender. Juliet and Becca seem to care for each other, both as lovers and friends. Romantic partners with the wholesome romantic dynamic choose to perform romantic, friendly or funny interactions with each other more often and hold a meaningful place in each other's hearts. Would you describe the dynamic between Juliet and Becca as being wholesome? Yes, I do. I really, really do. Right, she is starving. Did you order pizza? I really hope you did. We're going to share deep thoughts with her as well. There they go. Pizza's here. Take that pizza. I don't usually move this quickly with Sims and stuff, but I feel like she's just not... She's not doing okay, you know what I mean? So I feel like she would make this like crazy decision to have someone move in after a first date. Okay, perfect. We got our pizza. And I'm going to give him a tip because that usually makes them go away quicker. Okay, it's not letting me. Also, stop drinking from a puddle. You going to go away? Okay, I guess not. I don't know why it's a silver medal, but, you know, whatever. What is going on? You going to go away? You going to leave? No? Okay, fine. So yeah, Becca just friggin' moved in. What the heck? Um, I might do a makeover of her, but I might make it like a separate video within the series. So yeah. I'm hungry. She's still in university. I think technically she is, right? Oh, for God's sake, she's still in university. Okay, that might be a problem. Okay, right. So you're eating your pizza. That's great. Oh god, it's 3 a.m. Oh my god. Okay, we might have to get them to bed. There you go. Right, let's get them both in bed. Can we cuddle? We can go cuddle in bed, maybe? Yes. I don't even know if the cuddle interaction works, because every time I've tried it, it doesn't work. But I hope it does work. <laughs> Why is she an angel? Oh, it finally works. All the other times I've tried it, it hasn't worked. It's been really, really annoying. There you go. Just wear normal clothes. I love these two. They are quite cute together. But I just feel bad for Becca because I don't know if she's fully... I mean, she might be over Jack. But I don't know if like moving in this soon and being with someone this soon... Literally, after a first date is like the right thing to do i don't know we'll have to see how it goes what do you want dog okay well you guys can go to sleep now go to sleep cuddling oh my god please do that they're not even sleeping <laughs> not even sleeping that's so crazy romantic satisfaction changed juliet's romantic satisfaction with becca has changed based on our romance style turn on and turn offs romance style turn ons and turn offs play a critical role in affecting sims individual romantic satisfaction with their partner when socializing and becca's got class okay i guess we could you know chill and just let her do our university stuff we're not too bothered by it. We'll just let her do her own thing. Okay, first things first. Uh, we probably need to buy a vacuum because it's really, really dirty in this house now. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go for the super modern one. There you go. We'll buy two. Then the other one can be like the Becca, whatever. Right, do some vacuuming. Oh, I love her outfit today. It's so cute. And after that, you can go ahead and brush or deep clean your teeth, uh, shave your arms, have a steamy shower, because why not? Um, and yeah, I mean, it does feel good knowing that we're not living alone anymore, but we'll see how this relationship goes. It could succeed. It could not succeed. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see. If Jack keeps causing problems, then yeah, it may just be an issue. So lovers, to be in love is a beautiful thing. And we have amazing compatibility with partners, we're wholesome, 
first sim ever kissed julia is very attracted to becca and she's very satisfied but we don't know about you know how becca feels so we need to look into that bit of a crazy situation that we're in and of course we're going to be doing some more work let's see oh eye catching product slogans physical genius needs writer so we need to be right level five but look how much we get paid as well so i might do this one because that's a high paying one write a non-fiction book becca put in enough work to get a decent grade out of the class though she saw some other students seeming to learn more productively still becca thinks she'll need help with her final grade okay when she finishes oh, our friends calling her juliet you are such a great pair you two you two should think of something more long term uh oh is she gonna propose to her i feel like juliet would probably say no to that only because like i don't know if she'd go that far like marriage is like a big thing moving in fair enough being together fair enough but she doesn't know about marriage yet she wants to be sure uh, i don't think she's fully sure about these two but she's doing it anyway although it's very toxic of her to do this this is just her mindset at the moment uh if i want to go over to her house and hang out no uh let's see how she's feeling perfect kiss fulfilled life new partner yeah so she's basically just pushed the whole breakup out of her mind what's she even doing i think she's studying level three research and debate skill okay she's doing homework that's fair enough okay we really need to get some work going so let's chat with the client oh cute Ooh, what was that for you see like the negative like romance type thing one thing I do want to... Right, we're going to go ahead and ask her. Ask about romantic satisfaction. I'm going to ask for attraction level. I'm feeling very satisfied in our relationship. Okay, cool. Since you asked, I do find you attractive. Okay, all is good. That's awesome. We asked about romantic interest, did we not? <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one